We are back in the world of Skyrim, and we are doing another one of our live streams. Hopefully the green screen's working a little bit better today, and you don't have that funky echo I think that we had in the last video. Uh, we've moved rooms twice, uh, first from my master bedroom to what I thought was going to be my office, but the office uh, turned into a uh, heated inferno, so I chose not to do that. Uh, today we are doing a quest by, I want to say Sayers88, I really hope I'm getting that name right. He wants me to do the Black Star quest, which I believe is the... Uh, one of the Daedric artifacts, and we're here at the Shrine of Azura, which is just south of the College of Winterhold. Uh, unfortunately, that's as zoomed in as I can get, and this is a slightly different map mod than the default, so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit different, but uh, you should be able to figure it out. And I don't know if this is the guy we're supposed to talk to or not. Well met, traveler. I am Kaidojo, a monk, making the pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura. Well, you're coming from it. Then today will be no different than any other. For while I recognize Azura's place in the pantheon of the divines, the Daedra hold no particular favor in the doctrine I follow. Some may see the line between Aedra and Daedra as a means of separation, when the divide itself is the true nature of our existence. It is in the eye of the storm. Okay, you're boring me. Alright. That guy's not who we're here to talk to. So I'm just going to walk away from him. He's probably one of the interesting NPC mods uh, people. And they, uh, as far as I can tell, they ramble on forever. Uh, but don't actually say anything of importance, which is... I mean, it's it's interesting if you're into the lore. But I am... I'm about as far from a lore bunny as one can get. So... Uh, I think we're supposed to go over here. We'll see. Wow. That's the thing we're getting. Nothing up there on the top right. Azura Star. From what I understand, it is basically a permanent soul crystal that can hold either white or black souls. Alright, here's the person we're looking to talk to. Azura has seen your coming, Traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Okay. Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. Oh, so you're like a million you years old? You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. Okay. You must go to a fortress endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, right. you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. Yeah. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Okay. So, now I have to go to Winterhold, which is right over here. We'll go to Dragon's Reach. I think that's a little bit closer. Uh, and I believe what we're wanting to do now is go to the Frozen Hearth in Winterhold, which I believe is one of the inns, if I don't, if I recall correctly. White souls are monsters, creatures, animals, etc. Black souls are humanoids, like play or people. I almost said players, people, um, things like that. So um, that's what black soul gems are for, is they allow you to have the black souls and the white soul gems are for white souls. So that's that's the general gist of it. Okay, so unless I'm confused, and I may be, we're actually supposed to go over here, which is odd, because I, I, well, I guess that's the Bannered Mayor over there. You'd think after all these times playing Skyrim, I would know the different ends. I don't really go to ends though, so. I think I'm given a pass, and it, I feel like it's taking me out of town. Yeah, it's taking me out of town. So most likely I have something in the miscellaneous selected, because that is that is definitely not right. Damn those crazy. So we're looking for the Frozen Hearth. This is the Drunken Huntsman. The Frozen Hearth Inn in Winterhold. Which one is the Frozen Hearth Inn? One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Uh, wait. Oh, in Winterhold! I'm retarded. Not went up. 
Oh my god, I'm retarded. Not White Run Winterhold. Sorry. It's a special day. When you have the when you have the tutorial for the quest open and you still can't figure it out, that's when you know you're having a special moment. So I apologize, guys. I apologize. Uh, Larry two thousand one has just resubscribed. This is his fifth month in a row. Thank you so much, Larry. I appreciate it, buddy. High five to you. Can we get some fireballs in the chat to celebrate me and Larry's? Five month anniversary. I hope you got me something good, Larry. If you want me to put out tonight, you better have gotten me something good, bro. Something good, okay? Otherwise, you're sleeping on the couch tonight. Okay, so here we are looking for Dogger. Dogger. Uh, you're Heron. You're Ranmare. You're Vigram. Which means you must be Dogger. Yep. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Alright. The mages are up in the college. You can ask them if they'll let you in. Then again, Nelikar might know. Nelikar. He's an old timer from the college, but he has a room here. Okay. So where's Nelikar? See ya. Apparently asleep. My days at the college are long behind me, but I prefer to stay close by. Who okay. sent you? Was it the college? The Yarl? We agreed oh, there dude, would be no more questions. Those are creepy green eyes. We'll try and persuade him. Azura. Gods, it's all finally coming back to haunt me. What do you know about Soul Gem? Everything! They are, except the gem is always consumed. They're frail, except for one. Azura's Star, a Daedric artifact that allows any number of souls to pass through it. Sounds Some of good. us wanted to find out how. I was working under Malin Varan then. If only we knew what he was really planning. Dum 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 dum. Malin wanted to alter the star. He was dying, disease. He thought he could store his own soul inside, oh, and become God. immortal. It drove him mad. Students started dying. That's not Eventually, good. Eventually, the college exiled him. He took a few loyal disciples to Ilan Alter's deep and vanished. Oh great! Look, I don't care who asked you to find the star, but don't take it back to Azora. The Daedra are evil. They're the reason Malin went insane. Good to know. Uh, hmm. I mentioned how the star is a soul gem, only it never gets depleted. There's another rule the artifact follows. You can only store white souls in the star belonging to the lesser creatures. Azura's magic won't allow black souls to enter it. As a mortal, hmm. Malin's soul was black, so part of his work was breaking past Azura's rules. He was close before. Well, I already told you. Okay. So from what I understand, um, there are two mm -hmm. ways to get this quest done. You can either get the version that will store white souls, Sweet. or you can get the version that stores black souls. So from what I understand, it depends on where you go and who you talk to. So we need to find Illida's Deep, which is apparently all the way the fuck down here. Oh my god. Um, I am actually. F I haven't discovered that yet. No. Um, this is probably closer. This is probably closer. So, anyways, um, if you take it back to Azura, I think you get the white version. If you take it back to him, you may get the black version. I think that's how it works. Because, from. Because, as he said, you know, Azura, it's Azura's star. She doesn't want black souls in it. Only white souls, because otherwise her magic doesn't work. So for her, uh, I assume if I take it back to her, I get the the white version. Well, I want the black version, because the black version will allow me to store people's souls, and then I can basically get a enchant from my sword that basically every time I stab somebody, um, I get uh, a bonus, and then everybody's happy. Whoa, where is it? Is it a dragon or something else? It's a person. What the fuck is going on? Who is this? Why is an orc just randomly attacking me? Okay. The fuck was your problem, dude? You're not even anybody special. What the fuck? Okay, that was odd. Just walking through the woods and a random orc's like, you know what, bro? Not gonna be able to let you continue your your merry little jaunt through the woods. 
And I'm hearing a dragon somewhere. There he is. Is he a is he a frost dragon? All right, we're gonna we're gonna swim across here real quick, and then we'll. Uh oh, uh oh. I think we're fighting the dragon, or there's something in. Oh, it's a piranha. Okay, splendid, splendid. And here I am using a lightning spell while standing in water. There's just something rather stupid about that. I just feel like feel like I'm being a little dumb. Not sure if I'm gonna have to fight this dragon or not. That's a frost dragon. Hey, buddy. Oh, a couple of you. Uh, how many? How many of you? Three? Four? One, two? Three? Oh, okay. A whole gaggle of you guys. All right, out. Whoa, four! Okay. Four's a little much. Four's a little much. Um, okay. Might have some problems here. Um, okay, hang on. Let's get a let's get a shout we can use that will hurt Dargans. Uh, I wonder if will Ice Form do anything to him? Does anybody know if Ice Form will actually make one fall out of the sky? Does anybody know? Because that can be really helpful. If it they'll if they'll literally fall out of the sky, then that that will be good. So we're we're gonna leave that selected. Um, I do need to find my uh, spell ward. What is my spell ward? Uh, spell ward doesn't have anything selected yet. Uh, so let's do warp strike as my spell ward because we don't really need warp strike. So where is the little fuckers? Okay. No 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 no! God damn it! Probably should have saved before I, I did that. <sighs> well, I wonder if we're going to get to kill the orc again. The real question is, are we going to have 45 dragons attacking us again? Most likely not. Most likely not. Which kind of leaves me disappointed. I wanted to actually, I haven't fought a dragon since I've changed my specs over. So I, I actually was kind of looking forward to it. Um... But oh well, it is what it is. Uh, let us go ahead and change spell ward to three because I'm not going to be using the other one. We'll go ahead and save, and there we go. All right, so three, good, and then two, good, four, two, three, good. All right. That's not what I wanted. Wait a minute. That's most definitely not what I wanted. Stormclaw is two. Thunderbolt is five. Okay, that's weird. Uh, the difference between these two, uh, two is an AoE and basically does more damage the more things it passes through. Whereas uh, Thunderbolt just is a bolt of lightning. So, yep, I'm hearing dragons. There's one. So we're going to have at least one dragon to fight up here, which is fine. We may have a whole ton of them again. I believe they're calling in for reinforcements, so... Pyro, may I ask what you enchant what the enchant is on my sword? Uh, sword at the moment is I have a few. Hang on. Uh, target takes 50 points of frost damage. So basically every time I hit it, they take frost damage. Which is awesome. I may actually have to switch over to full destructo for this one. Cause otherwise we may not be able to close range with the guys. I like how this guy, this deer is just nonchalantly chilling out while there's dragons in the sky. It's like, what, bro? There's nothing, there's nothing to worry about. It's just a dragon, man. It's just a dragon. All right, resaving. All right, so now the fight has actually started. I expected my ward to hold up for a little bit. Apparently not. Okay. Whoa. OK, 
Okay, that hurt him. <laughs> that hurt him good. Where is he? He may crash, because I did take out his... Uh, I did kind of pound his wing a little bit. Uh, in my experience, if you target a dragon's wing, and specifically his wing, you can actually bring them down. Uh, usually it requires archery, though, so I'm not sure. There we go. Bitch! Well, one is definitely easier than uh, four or five, however many we were dealing with. So I'm not going to complain. I'm a little disappointed. I was kind of looking forward to the challenge. A little bit. But oh well. It is what it is. I can't control when the mod decides it wants to kill me. Uh, I should have saved. I need, to get a, I need to get back in the habit of saving every like four seconds. I just, uh, for whatever reason, with all the mods and the bugginess of the mod, uh, or the pack, we, we get some pretty nasty hitching sometimes, like right there. And uh, it can also, well, it used to crash. I guess I haven't had a crash in a while, so I guess I need to stop complaining and just man up and do it. All right, so this is Lenata's Deep, which is, I believe, uh, a fortress that is underwater. Was that another dragon? Yeah, there's another dragon over there. Is there more, or is it just that one? Yeah. I think he's attacking Fall Creed, so I'm not going to worry about it. We're not going to be able to get him anyway. Cheats in 20 Elder Dragons. Yeah, I don't I don't want to fight the dragons that bad, guys. <laughs> Not that bad. I'm good, though. I'm good. Appreciate it. All right. Once again, we are dealing with lightning in a watered enclosure. This, uh, this should be destined for failure of anything. Can I save? I'll go ahead and save again. All right. Look at that. Am I drunk? I must be drunk. What are you talking about, dude? Nothing special in here. He's all like freaking out over like the landscape and shit. Like, dude, there's nothing even here. Other than dead bodies, I guess. We have a new subscriber, Carnivarius! Thank you so much, bro. High five to you. Welcome to the Pyromaniacs. I do believe that is your first subscription. Uh, let's see, that makes you the 100 and, let me refresh real quick, make sure nobody else unsubbed. Uh, yeah, that makes you the 163rd subscriber, so it looks like one person unsubbed, so, uh, unfortunately, we're still six subs away from the dirty, dirty 169 sub. We also got a $5 donation from Sayers88, and he says, to soften the blow of violation. Thank you, Sayers, I think. I'm a little uh, creeped out by that, but I will take it. Thank you so much. Uh, skellies? I'm not worried about Skelly. Oh, there's a mage there! Now her, I didn't notice. Alright, notice how she's frozen. Yeah, she's dead. Uh, that freezing spell is uh, simply based out. Ow, 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 ow. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. Well, I wish you'd killed her before I used my damn shout! Oh, there's another one! How'd that work out for you, buddy? He's like, a zero bleh! It's like, alright, dude. Well played. I gotta give it to you, Nettie. Ever since I got rid of my other conjures and, and such, you've really started carrying your weight now, bro. I, I mean, I kind of feel bad for all those times I was shit-talking you. I honestly think... Oh, well, you, you got you got a big ice penis sticking out of your knot head, so... Hopefully it melts before you realize that, uh... That's kind of messed up. Anyways, I, I think he's trying to overachieve now that I got rid of the, uh... The other summons. He's feeling... He's feeling loved again, so therefore he's he's working hard. Which I'm, I'm happy with, actually. Oh, God. Oh god, bad feels. Awesome combo! Sayers89 has subscribed. High five to you, sir. Thank you so much. I believe that's Sayers88's other account. That puts us at 164 subs. Oh shit, dude, she froze me when I froze her? Bad doggy! Fuck! What the fuck, dude? Alright, I'm killing the skellies. Fuck it. That one's down. That one's down. Are we 
clear. Okay. I guess he took that out. Uh, anyways, that puts us at a two-sub combo. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Appreciate the support big time. It's thanks to people like you guys that, uh, that I'm able to do what I do. This is, uh... I'm incredibly blessed to be able to do this for a career. If you can even call playing video games a career. I call it a career, so fuck you guys, alright, man? It's good times. It's good times. Either way, it's it's the best job I've ever had, and waking up in the morning and being able to play video games is amazing. Hey, Pyro, I wonder what would happen if you used daggers so you would swing faster. Then you increase strike speed, shout. I wonder if the spells would cast rapid fire. Um, the problem that I would run into in that point is just not having enough mana. So I, I still have to have enough mana to do, uh, sorry. If I don't have enough mana to do it, then it doesn't really matter. Holy shit, dude, I froze the shit out of her. Whoa! Okay, that is not what I meant to do. I'm very sorry about that, Eddie. Uh, whoa! Oh my god! I wasn't even in the way of that! Oh, it's gonna take us all the way back to the beginning. Oh. I think I'm just gonna start punching myself in the nuts every time that happens so I remember to save. I must be drunk. Fuck. Oh well, is what it is. Got a bad feeling. Switching to two. Come on, buddy. Ooh! Did you see me like lean forward and just like jab his ass, dude? This is fucking sick. Ah, uh, you got frost penises sticking out of you again. Poor guy. He gets he gets shit talked and replaced by a bunch of skellies till I get tired of him. Bunch of bugged ass skellies. And now he comes back to join me, and, he, and he's actually pulling his weight, and all he does is get stabbed by frost penises all day long. I mean, how much does that job suck? It's like, yeah, man, I I gotta go into work again today. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Oh, well, what are you gonna do today? I'm gonna fall around this asshole and get stabbed by giant frost penises for like, I don't know, five hours. So, yeah. That's a shitty job, dude. I don't care what anybody says. That's a shitty job. All right, moving on. Moving on. Uh, wait, is that a ch no? Oh, those are interesting little. I forgot to check in here last time. What's up, Skelly? Um, all right. I'll waste a little bit more mana killing you. Now I'm using this spell now instead of the other one because I think it uses a little less mana. Um, so it, it seems to work out a little bit better for me. Um. Let's actually pull it up and I can tell you guys. Uh, if we go to destruction. So the spell that I'm using right now is Stormclaw. Electrical wave that deals 38 damage and to health and half of that to Magicka deals 152 bonus damage if the spell hits five or more times during the past seven seconds. So now that I think about it, that's actually kind of shitty. Now, now Thunderbolt does 50 damage. Hmm... So basically, I have to cast this five times, which would be 500 and 650 mana, if I'm right. Which I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't think I have 650 mana. I do have 650 mana. Okay, let's look at one other thing. Let's look at one other thing. Um, now that we're actually doing destruction, we might benefit more from a different symbol. Okay, so we have, come on, come on. Come on. All right, symbol of power increases your health, increases magic resistance, one-handed attacks. No. Order. Uh, no. Nature. Mm, fuck no. Uh, magic. That's what we're using right now. So it gives me 350 man magicka, which we kind of need. 140% resist, or uh, faster mana regen, which we need. Um, and it makes restoration, conjuration, illusion, and destruction all 21%. No, just Resto Conjure and Illusion. And it increases destruction by 21, which I don't know if that's actually all that good. Uh, divide, uh, no. What about Darkness? Magic regenerates 28% faster. No, 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 no. 
and chaos. Increases your health by 105 points. Increases magic resistance by 21. Fire resistance. Destruction skill is increased by 60 fucking three. So that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Oh, one's yours and one's your wife, Sayers? Awesome. Well, thank you, Sayers and Sayers' wife. I appreciate both of you guys. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for the uh, the support. So so give your wife a high five for me, dude. And then light her on fire to welcome her to the Pyromaniacs. Just just don't burn her to death, because then you're going to have to disappear a body, and I, I don't want to be blamed for that. I don't want to be blamed for that. And I'm sure she's a nice lady, since she just subscribed. So. All right. So, I'm thinking this spell does kind of suck now that I think about it, because I have to cast it five times, and I just don't think I have enough punch to do that. We can try it here. We can try it here. So, let's let's give this a shot. There's... Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And we're out of it. Yeah, not going to happen. I don't have enough to make it happen. So, we're going to switch back over to this one. As much as I like this one, I just simply don't have the punch to make it happen. Uh, where is loot magnet? There we go. Done. No promises. <laughs> well, all right. Let's move on. Uh, I'm using loot magnet now instead of uh, actually manually looting because we don't need to manually loot anymore. The only reason we were manually looting before was so we could get the benefit of the uh, the conjuration perk that allowed me to basically uh, eat body, so to speak. And we don't need that. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I guess I had this one still targeted. All right, she's down. Okay, he's down. You got him? Okay, you got him. Uh, wait. Is there a bandit in here? There's like a bandit stuck behind this wall. Sounds like she's a zombie, too. I'm going to open the thing up and let the zombie out. Except I don't see the zombie. Okay, I guess the zombie's not in here. Never mind. Wait, what, what, what? I hear spells being cast, I don't see anybody, I'm scared. Is it in here? No. Whoops, I guess Eddie's out there fighting by himself. Now I feel a little bad. All right, let's, let's do loot magnet again. Uh, loot magnet. This will loot all the bodies in the buy. Switch them back over. So I'm thinking Eddie just got into a big old fight up here by himself, so I'm gonna try and catch up. Oh, Jesus! One of them's naked. Eat. Holy shit! Oh, fuck! Okay, now I can move. Now I can move. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Oh my God! She hurts. She hurts a lot. Extra Magicka. Uh, shock resist. Shock resist. Filter resist shock. That's an extra 30%. Uh, already done my health increase. Uh, I need actual... There we go. There we go. Uh, okay. And then healing. <laughs> Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Don't don't eat me, bitch! Get off me! No 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 no! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Damn it! Oh God! Uh, do we have, like, the god healing potions, please? Ult ultimate healing, oh, thank god. Okay. I'm gonna hold off on that for just a second. I need to resist some frost, because I don't know why I did lightning, because she's actually doing frost, which... Again, makes me a little... There. And then, uh, vigorous stamina, what the hell. <laughs> Fucking freeze, bitch! Okay. Alright, we're just gonna let everything tick up real quick. Real fast. There we go, biatch! That was crazy. That was fucking crazy. Okay, there we go. Easy, 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 easy. Alright. And now we need loot magnet. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ow. 
Uh, Carnivorous, don't post links until we get to that point. At the moment, I'm not accepting any more quests. Uh, I'll let you guys know when we do the quests. We're not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. I'm doing this one now. Once we get done with this one, we'll do the next one. Is he dead? No. There you are. Okay. I really wish there was a way to check your followers' health. Because I know he gets hurt sometimes, and it's, it's almost impossible to find out when he's, he's okay. Again. And healing him doesn't always pull up his health bar. Sometimes it does, but not always. You must raise the bar. I was raising the bar. Jesus. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. And there's bookshelves with nothing on them. Why would you have empty bookshelves? Makes no sense. All right, resaving. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Me luck. Uh. Oh, I froze them both. Okay, why is there fire? I did not cast a fire spell, and both those bitches died before they could. What is exploding? This makes no sense. I don't get it. It's almost like me casting spells causes explosions. And I mean, I'm not complaining. I just find it weird. Okay. Uh, so I can go two ways. Right or left. Uh, we're going to go left first because the arrow isn't this way. And I like exploring everything. Of course, now it looks like the arrow is this way. Oh, Jesus. No, shut the door. All right, going the other way. Going the other way! Lightning causes fire? How does light... Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. Ignore me. I was like, how does lightning cause fire? And then I'm like, duh. Hey, it's, it's late, okay? I've been streaming for five hours. Give me a break. I'm already not that smart to begin with, you know. You guys are, you guys are, stressing the, the 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 idiocy here, okay? Easy now. All right, going through, going through, going through. What's up, bro? Oh, this is an arc necro. That's not good. Oh, sorry. You want to keep that guy from shooting me, bro? I would appreciate it if you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Thank you kindly. All right, is there anything else in here we need? All right, let's do the, uh, the loot magnet real quick before we go any further. I'm gonna loot everything in the room. Uh, I don't see anything there. Okay. Good times, moving on. Hey, Pyro, what are soul gem fragments for? I honestly have no idea, buddy. Another what?! Oh, we're in trouble now. We are absolutely in trouble, like really badly. Ultima Magica. Okay, I don't need to blow the healing yet, but I can do restore health. Okay. Oh, well, Master Necro's dead. Uh, I think we're good. That was actually surprisingly easy. Fucking. Insta mana potion and like 10 thunderbolts from a 96 effective destruction mage and apparently that gets the fucking job done. Good times. Alright, so we're gonna need to go upstairs here in a second. I wanna make sure there's no like dark voodoo going on over here that I need. Apparently not. Apparently the dark voodoo we need is upstairs? Yep, upstairs. Alright. Save. Moving on. Alright. Apparently, soul gem fragments might be able to be st or sealed into normal fragments at the, um, what do you call it? Uh, the Atronox Forge underneath the College of Winterhold. The Black Star! Uh, those scoffers scorn, blah, 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 the Black Star. My achievement over the Dorgonar revisioning, it shall become the vessel of my immortality. Final proof that mortals as live indefinitely, the visions of voice in Azura, blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, new side free of the prying minds for Delnada. We've been conducting a few minor experiments before our exile, some of which led to the, disru the disruption of the island, but a few enchantments have kept the ruins intact, and beneath the waters of Lake Elada has been perfect place for the final phase of the Black Star. Uh, why isn't the page is turning? Is that it? Oh, apparently that's it. Okay, so we'll take it. And we apparently have already looted him from downstairs. All these guys should be empty as well. Uh, okay. And then we'll go ahead and loot all these. Alright, so the choice I have now is to take these to Ariana or take them to Nekar. Now, I believe if I take it to Nekar, then it's the Black Gym, right guys? Is that how that works? Let's see. Uh, there are two options. Speaking to the desired person of the Broken Desert Star... Okay, once Melinda's soul has been defeated, the dragon... Wait. Okay, so which one? So if I take it to Nelikar... Blackstar uh, is un an unlimited... Okay, so yeah, we want to take it to Nelikar. Because Nelikar is the black one. If we take it back to the uh, the lady... Then we get uh, the white soul gem version, and we don't want the white soul gem version because white soul gems are pretty easy. Why are you still using the same sword? What do you mean, Vesuv? This sword right here uh, is the one we picked up last video, and do, 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 do. it does 70 damage, roughly. Well, 69. 69! The dirty sword. So yeah, it uh, it works out pretty well for us. Wow, look at that rope. Are you a wizard? All right, here we go, going in. All right. Yes, yes, I haven't. Nelikar. Stendar's mercy, you found it. Yes, I did. Azora's star. Maybe this is my chance to make things right. I can finish Malin's work. The way we had meant to before his madness. Okay. It would mean cutting the star off from Azura. Only black souls would be able to enter it once we finished. Yeah, Vasu, this is a pretty good sword. So it's better than most of the Daedric artifacts ones we've found, and I haven't found uh, I haven't found any other good ones. So How long are we yes, other than smithing. Other than smithing. Also, keep in mind, guys, we are doing a modded let's play, which changes a lot of the values. So. Keep that in mind. Give me a minute to examine the star. I'll see what we'll need to do. These fissures and cracks aren't encouraging. Malin obviously was growing more desperate once he left the college. Uh, I haven't done much in blacksmithing. I'd have to actually invest in it, like not just money-wise, but actual skill points to get anywhere. And I haven't really done that. He did it actually managed to trap his own soul inside the star, but it's hmm. falling apart. It needs more and more souls to sustain itself. Oh, wow. The star is being used to sustain Malin's soul. I can't fix it while that fragment of him is inside. Precisely. But it's not as simple as enchanting Malin away. That's fucked He's up. put up barriers. Souls are only allowed in, not out. If we were to... somehow... Send a soul inside the star, one that was ready to overpower Malin from the inside. I don't like where this is going. I could soul trap you, place you inside the star, then bring you back once Malin has been dealt with. Oh God! I understand if you need some time to prepare. Let me know when you're ready. He's gonna fucking kill me. Let's just keep an eye on the Okay, stand very still. This might sting. First, I'll need to grab hold of your soul. Oh, God. Now, take a deep breath. The interesting ah, thing is I go in... My disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting... hungry. Why? There's something different about you. How do I have my gear is what I'm curious about. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. Okay. 
Oh, I hear Daedrus. I don't like Daedrus. I don't like Daedrus. Whoa, whoa. Slow your roll, Cleet. Whoa, more mages. Oh, those are big fireballs. Those are big. Oh my god. I don't have Nettie with me either, do I? Alright, he's down. Hold on. I'm going to pull your soul out of there. Hold on. Not yet! No, not yet! Oh, wait. Ah! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Magica! Click okay. Alright, here we go. Swig! Did I get it? Okay, I should have all the loot. Fuck! Wait. Where's the other dude? Easy there. The numbness will pass. I Just don't strain I've been playing Hunt the Elf We've done again. It. The star has been cut off from Azura. And Malin's soul finally has some measure of I'm peace. I'm not spreading. Even if it is non-existent. playing those sorts of games. Okay. All right, all right. I'll speak to her. Anyways. Uh, Rave J. Brand new subscriber. High five to you, sir. Thank you so much for your subscription. I appreciate it. I believe that makes you the 165th sub. That puts us four away from the dirty, nasty subscriber. Not quite sure who's going to be that. All right. So if it's fixed, then it's mine. Go ahead. Take it. I'd sooner finally put this chapter of my life behind me. Good. Congratulations. You've altered the fate of a Daedric artifact and lived. Sounds good to me. All right, so we now... Whoa, he has spells? Glad all... So you wish to master the arcane arts. Oh, Jesus. Yes, I'll take all of your soul gems. Okay, what books do you have? I don't think he has any I don't have already, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah, I don't see any that I don't have yet. Fuck! Damn it, Bobby! Well, listen to this. <sighs> How much of our money have you spent today? Killer Shark, file a ticket with Mojang. They'll be able to help you, bro. They'll be able to help you. All right, so basically, let me show you guys the, the artifact real quick before we go any further. Uh, where is it? I think it's under miscellaneous. should be under A's. Well, let's click here and let's just... Oh my god. All? Star. There it is. The Black Star. And we'll wait till it works. There we go. The Black Star, it doesn't say anything, but basically this thing can hold an infinite amount of things. Uh, well, it can hold one soul gem, I believe, at a time, and then you have to use it, but it doesn't break it when you use it. So then you can use it again, and then you can use it again, and then you can use it again. So one of the nice things about this is you can use it... Uh, if you have soul tap, then you can fight something... Suck its soul, use it to restore your gear, and then fight something. Suck its soul, use it to restore your, your items, etc., etc. And it uh, kind of kicks over and over and over again. So it makes it kind of nice. Makes it kind of nice. So, anyways, that's uh, our third or fourth Daedric artifact, I think, now. So, good times, good times. Alright, one sec, guys. 451, 50. 